Okay, so when you have a turbo system, you want the gases to flow out as fast as possible. That's gonna help out with the spool time of the turbo and the efficiency of the turbo. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna gasket match this inlet of the turbine to match the gasket. This gasket's also gonna be matched to the turbo manifold outlet. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna remove this material and I don't know if you can see these little bumps here, but we're gonna remove those too. So by removing these bumps here, it's not gonna compromise the strength of the turbo because as you can see, it's not concaved here. It's still solid. If it was concaved here to give room for the uh, bolts to go, I wouldn't have touched it, but there's no reason why these should be here if it's not concaved on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. And at the same time, we're gonna get rid of that ugly step here. This here, we're gonna get rid of that. The turbine, we, the turbine wheel is somewhere back here. I have marked it on mine, so I have a scribe to let me know how far to go in. But we're just gonna get rid of this right here. Okay, so we're gonna start off by putting some layout fluid also called a dye so we're just gonna put it around the area where we're gonna be porting so we can scribe our line so now what you want to do you want to scribe the line or the gasket and we're going to be porting out everything within that line So there we go, we have our guideline, and now we're gonna pour out all this extra material. Okay, as you can see, I got rid of the bumps that were here. I'm still gonna go over it, hit it a couple more times. But um, now since I got the rough uh, porting out, I like to put the gasket to see where I can uh, really match it. So as you can see, it still needs a little bit more here, a little bit more down here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the gasket on and port match it with the gasket on. Okay, so as you can see now, we have nearly a perfect match. Okay, now that since we've got the rough porting done, we got the um, gasket matched. Now we're going to switch over to our uh, cartridge rolls. These are 80 grit and we're gonna uh, just go ahead and give it a few passes to start off. So now that we gave it a quick pass with the 80 grit um, cartridge rolls, we can really see the highs and low spots uh, we did from the rough uh, porting. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna keep uh, hitting it with 80 grit to get uh, rid of all these uh, highs and low spots and try to make it as smooth as possible but it's already feeling smooth even just with that first pass but that's just one of uh, many passes so i'm gonna hit it a couple more times okay now since we got the uh, 80 grit cartridge rolls done it's pretty smooth it's actually real smooth 
Um, so now I'm gonna hit it with the flapper wheel. I got a flapper wheel with the extension connected to my drill. So I'm gonna use that and on the um, exhaust side, I can actually use a bigger flapper wheel with the um, die grinder. But um, that flapper wheel is too big to fit in here. It doesn't go in as deep as the smaller one does. So I'm just gonna use that for now. But it's coming out real good. Okay, so I hit it with the 80 grit uh, flapper wheel. So I'm pretty satisfied with the results. Everything's smooth. It's definitely gonna flow better. So you don't wanna pour anything beyond where the turbine wheel is at. You want that spot to be as tight as possible so that uh, exhaust gases don't go around it. They actually spin the turbine wheel. But it looks good. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do, I got this. Uh, compressor housing so I'm just gonna go in there and remove all the rough casting as deep as I can go but I won't do a video of that I'm not gonna port it I'm just gonna hit it with the 80 grit uh, cartridge rolls smooth it out and then just hit it with the flapper wheel call it a day